I'm studying something rather remote from everyday life, behavior of quantum devices. The laws of this world are extremely different and there are no human concepts that, uh, that we can relate to. You have to start from throwing away all the intuition that you have otherwise. Trying to relate the new facts that you have learned to each other rather than to something that you have known from before. By the end of the high school, I already knew that I am a physicist. I didn't know that I want to become a physicist. I, I knew that in my mind, I am 100% a physicist. Main motivation for my research is the curiosity. If you're exploring a new land, your goal is the exploration. You need to find what is out there. This is what drives my work and also what I am doing. By bringing a bunch of active people together, there is already an added benefit of transmitting bits of knowledge between the different communities that are otherwise disconnected. Projects that are certainly important for me uh, are policy projects on open science, clearly also because it relates to my favorite topic, open source software. It's a very good match, uh, the open source software and academic research. The whole idea of scientific process is uh, building of results on top of other results. This is also a good thing about open source software. Every little bit counts. So you don't need to uh, publish a complete new program that you write from scratch in order to be a member of open source community. Due to a much easier communication between anybody interested, I think the border between active researchers, interested researchers and just the society in general is uh, becoming less and less clear. People from online communities just accidentally solve long-standing mathematical problems. I think it's extremely exciting, but it also means that a lot of the scientific process needs to be reorganized to make this interaction more smooth and efficient.